I don't even know if I'll even use most of these. Uh, few of them are as quite as appealing as just recovering 85% of your energy, for example, or 100% of life. Situational. Some of them are complementary attacks and stuff like that. This is deal physical damage to an enemy that ignores armor. But hey, who doesn't like just solving some puzzles? It's funny because I've probably passed up on these multiple times saying, eh, those don't seem worth it. And then just didn't buy them. And But every day I can feel slightly different when I play this game. The plant from the field has antibiotic properties and is the first in line. Okay, so you're just telling me what the first one is? So, field, antibiotic. The needed petal grows on the mountain and cannot come after the waterfront crop. So this is apparently a waterfront crop, but mountain has to come first, which means this is petal. And that's crop. You must put in roots right before the poisonous plant. So, this is the only remaining slot, which means you must be poison. Set of ingredient cannot increase physical prowess, of course. It's just... alright. No. You mean not to use sedative? Oh, they were implying sedative bad. I guess the idea is that you're drinking the troll blood to become stronger, is what they mean? And they're like, well, sedative can't increase physical prowess. But it's framed as an attack, so that's why I was thinking the other way around. I believe they're all at least unlocked now. Get that save done. Oh god. Gotta remember these backwards calendars. Right. That's the next one. Wow. Oh right, all the more reason to do every single one of those is you get experience. I just got about 3,000 experience for doing that, and everyone has an 18,000 experience cap per level, so that is not insubstantial. Let's see just how nimble these boots truly make them. Ow. Have the, have the rules change on these? Oh, I can't go that way. It looks like an island you could stand on, but you actually can't go that way for some reason? Oh, this this room is gonna test me. Because on some level I want to fill in my entire map out of habit. But on the other hand, it's more waiting. And who likes that? Okay. Oh, yeah, safe spot. It's just a lot of really nasty swords. I'm kind of hoping that if I get to the end, the puzzle will tr the hazard will just turn off. Is something here? No. I'm kind of hoping that if I get the axe, the puzzle the hazard just turns off and I get to fully explore. Ta-da! I'm here. All right, done with y'all. Lots of lava lakes around here. I've never 
never felt more alive than when we were dodging those stakes. And look, the axe of the Iron Needer. Why is he called that? The Iron Needer is said to boast enough strength in his hands to knead iron, as you or I with clay. And this is his axe. So he isn't someone who needs iron, like, in order to live. Get away from me. <laughs> wow, she's so fun to be around. Still don't really need to rest, but I'll save. Why not? I'm here. Campfire unlocked. So it looks like the hazard probably turned off, unless they're going to make me do with both of these at the same time, which would be mean. Let's fight! Boy, we have a lot of fights coming our way. They're doing that weird thing where they turn sideways sometimes. I don't know what to make of that, that's weird. Lightning and stun immune. So we're definitely going to use fire. Ooh. They are not resistant to the fire. Clearly. Everyone should just take a break now. This uh this will uh, resolve itself. Yep. I learned from the best. Now time to do this fight a lot. Cause I, they just, they spawned so many bugs. They were gonna be here for a bit. Oh no. Wow, he half died. He more than half died in one, in one go. He more than more than half died. He more than two thirds died. Holy crap! Well, now he full on died. Use a resurrection spell now. I don't really need to even tank. Do I? Yeah, yeah. I don't need to tank. Well, if that keeps happening, these will be very fast fights. How foolish of them to take arms. They're not taking. They didn't take arms. They're. Bugs. <laughs> How foolish of them to take arms. They're, they're lightning elemental bugs. I don't... You fool. <laughs> You've embarrassed yourself. <laughs> Everyone heard you. <laughs> You're ready to be a let's player. God, they just explode. That's neat. I just took one more step and we're back in a fight. Yeah. Chop, 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 chop. Mm, they're not going to have turns. Let's just rest. Eh, one of them had a turn. Wait, what? He... What was up with that? He... Uh, he attacked... He, ex he took damage, then he attacked, then he took damage again. Maybe he was the lowest initiative and then the highest initiative? So maybe at two consecutive turns. Okay, this is not doing great things for my energy supply, admittedly. Yeah. You're out of energy entirely. Because they they attack me. So we're going to want to tank this time. Because we did not get to do the amplifier. And chop. That might actually ensure that everyone dies this turn. Yep. Nothing I targeted like the guy that had the most health. Just gotta even them all out. Yeah, each of these you gives me... made it. I must admit, you're starting to impress me. What is your business here, Boldijar? Simple, really. You need this tree. I intend to destroy it. Ah, it is nearly indestructible. I have my methods, but they may not even be necessary once I destroy something else first. You. I knew he was going to say that. I knew he was going to do that. Shit, I'm not in a great spot right now, actually. If you could not do that. Uh, he probably can't be maddened. Let's summon my extra guy for extra tanking powers. 
Let's make you vulnerable to fire. Because this should just keep attacking him every turn for the entire fight, right? That's kind of a no-brainer. Heal that party up a bit. You need to rest. Yeah, we're not... It's not the best time for a new fight to start, but here we are. I haven't used that ice spell for a while, but... Damage over time being stacked is probably a good move right now. Uh, everyone needs energy, so let's do this. He's trying. Big hit. Ooh, big hit. Attack multiple times, you say? I should bear form first. That makes sense. The sparring match. But now your true test begins. Farewell. Oh. That's not nice. Oh, he, uh, he did it again. He did the thing again, or he disappears when I'm in the middle of applying a bunch of stuff on him. Alright, elite, high resist, lightning sensitive, control immune. Lightning sensitive? Mmm. Mmm. Let's give the party a boost. Don't have a lot of faith in this working out, but let's try it. Wow. Pile of garbage there. Control immune, I believe, means I can't make it terrified. I mean, well, it doesn't have any allies to attack. But that wouldn't really amount to much. Lightning! Would have been better if I still had my other lightning, but, you know, things happen. Ah, uh, you, you need to rest. I should do the heal, though, soon. You know, none of these are a heal. Oh, I... I do I not have any of that, even though it's two out of two? Why can't I use that? Oh, it's because I'm a bear. Rawr. He's got a buff on him? Oh, no, that's, that's, no, he, that's him. I think he used that. I think I can remove buff and taunt. Yep, okay. Make him easier to hurt, at least. Not that much easier to hurt. Alright. Uh, I'm out of lightning. This is the energy... So she can't heal. I, I do need to make sure somebody heals her. Uh, there we go. I just wanted to use the rest as rest as him next because he hadn't rested for a while. Are you still a burr? Yeah. Oh, wow, six hole damage. All right, so don't do that, basically. Let's enter fire elemental mode. Oh wait, isn't he? He's covered in fire. It doesn't say that he's immune to light to fire, but he's probably it's probably it's probably not great. Probably not, not my best move. Let's find out. Eh. Yeah, that's disappointing. Everyone needs to rest, like, desperately so. I kind of just need to wait for my lightning spells to come back and try not to die in the process. That's kind of where we are right now. Hey, look, lightning spells. And I guess being in fire form gives me more fire resistance, and he's not... Yeah. The bear stops you from doing other things, but fire form lets you cast everything normally. You just... I, th I, th I think it does. You just get bonus fire damage, which is not worth casting. But it makes me immune to his fire that I assume he does with his attacks. His attacks probably come with, with physical and fire, since he's punching me with burning rocks. It makes... 
Makes sense to me. <clears throat> Yeah, let's just make sure I heal you before you go and die with all of our damage. Big attack. Ooh, she still does damage. Right, because doesn't that attack... I have to check when it gets back to her. I think that attack actually ignores uh, resistances. You need to rest. We're getting there. He's trying. Poor guy's trying. Blow him up! Yay! Gladiator armor. Strength and vigor and all that jazz. I feel like I have that already. He got away. Yes, but so did his plans to destroy this tree. We can return the branch to Hador. Sebastian, if you don't mind. It would be my pleasure, friend. Metal Golem. My first thought upon meeting the Metal Golem was that Boldejar was introducing us to an old friend of his. Someone from whatever the hell Gar Garabancia summons things. But no, he was only making it look that way. Scylla says this particular golem is more of a guardian of the copper forest than the pawn of a misguided wizard. The golden father himself, Arane Astraf, <laughs> uh, created it to protect the, gr uh, the very tree we chopped. Uh, the... Uh, to protect the very tree we just chopped a limb from. So yes, we have defeated a monstrosity created by none other than the king of the gods. You'd think Hadur could have prepared us for his father's little gift to us. One last test, I suppose. As the Tautos would put it, it is within his known character, after all. But I guess I'm really trying to say here is, how about the, that Boldejar? He tried to pull one over on us with an act of deceptive cowardice. Part of me admires such a tactic. I must- I might have to steal that idea one of these days. Is that set up? I wonder if that's set up for a thing he's gonna do later in the game. Let's go back to bug hunting. Don't want to let any experience pass us by. If we can avoid it. It's in these kinds of games where there's a limited pool of enemies and all that. It does not generally do you any any favors to pass up on what limited pool of experience the game does allow you to find. That tends to make bad things happen. Nope, I already found all the bugs. Not a bad time to rest with everyone being at half energy or less. I'm sure I have a surplus. So we're already ready to leave. <clears throat> yeah, 98% map. But I have a ch I still have a chest I want to open. If I can find a key. Let's check the dead end over here. Not dead end, uh, unfinished path. Ow. That wasn't very nice. I remember this now, though. Yeah. I remember them mentioning that now. Yeah, don't do this until you got the boots. And it's like, because you gotta go sprinting through the whole thing faster than the proximity lightning attacks will notice you, basically. Hey, map explored. That doesn't happen too often. Did somebody get something new? Oh, 
new, yeah, new, new potion options unlocked. <clears throat> oh, what did I highlight all those? That was a mistake. That just makes me lose track of them. I don't think I have a key for the chest downstairs. Is there a part of the screen that says how many keys I currently have? It should be here next to Golden Firewood, because it's a unique recurring... I mean, it's, an, it's a non-unique recurring item that you constantly would want to know how many you have of. But I think you just have to find it in this giant grid. <clears throat> I think this is the first time I've run out of keys. Specifically in the context of... Oh, I guess the lightning didn't turn back on. I just walked right through it all. I think this is the first time I've run out of keys. In a run where I finished the floor already. Like, there's the locked chest. It does still say six out of nine secrets, too. I wonder what I might have missed. We did the well. Hmm. I can always come back. I don't really have ideas of where to go next. So I think I'll just leave. But I don't like missing secrets. But I don't remember any loose ends right now. Admittedly. Let's make sure I save before I transition zones. You never know when the bad will happen. And they'll like glitch me out of the map for the third time. For the hat trick. They return to the palace in triumph. Yet any compliments Hodur had for the companions were most understated in nature. Bordijai was an unintended obstacle in your proving grounds. Yet you still prevailed. Well done. I had heard a trained Gorobonsiash could enter the land of the gods, but I did not believe it. Yes, when were dark souls such as his capable of breaching the upper world? Muldijar has no dark soul. He believes his intentions are noble, even heroic. Preposterous. Such indignation. And humans wonder why I so rarely grant them an audience. All over the middle world of Operencia. Death, strife, war between brothers over the pettiest of squabbles. Were my own brother's fate not directly tied to yours? A cause rooted in your own selfish desires to live, mind you. Were that not the case, rest assured, you would not be here now. You're right, Your Majesty. We are selfish. We do want to live. But only because we know we are here to save. And not just your brother. Our brothers. Our sisters. Our parents. Our friends. Everyone we know. Those we have never met. Those we never will meet. It's not perfect out there, true. But the good does outweigh the bad. And that is who we fight for. That is why we are here. Such passionate words. And yet you never resorted to calling out my own hypocrisy? I am your god of war, after all. Your final test is passed, and to war you will go. You were promised magic armor to face the dragon. You shall have it. One person wearing it will protect you all. My finest silver windmares will grant you quick passage to your next destination. If you don't mind my asking, Lord Hador, where might that be? You said before you had more to tell us. It will look familiar to you, Elia. 
the very forest where Attila slew Thade decades ago. The sword? Is it there? To be honest, I do not know. My bond with the blade has weakened over the years. But Attila does rest beneath the very river that brought him to that battle. His spirit will have the answer you seek, though not without some resistance. A ghost fight. Yeah, we know that one. I invite you to rest here, Crusaders of Operencia. You leave tomorrow, and tomorrow will not be kind. On Windmares they flew, down the tree, back to the Middleworld, to the beautiful Operentian forest where this grand story began. But its beauty had been scarred. The smell of brimstone filled the air. Something terrible was happening. Against the Underworld. Soon after the Underworld invasion, he quelled, alongside Queen Becca and the Taltos Gonchol, King Attila enhanced the materials... Uh, the materials. Queen Attila enhanced the magical seal they set in place with seven of Operencia's strongest locks. And an eighth, for good measure. What? Why was it... Why, why phrase it that way? Uh, no one was ever to open the gate again. But then again, it wasn't so long ago uh, that you were easily referred to as no one yourself. Ah. I am no man. They were saying the sword t is actually located where the t the uh, intro was. It makes sense that they wouldn't make an entire tile set just for a 30-minute little prologue. The forest of Attila's greatest triumph looks nothing like its legend. What has happened here? And what's that smell? Brimstone. We have no easy task ahead of us. We've had no easy task behind us either, but we've done just fine. Yes. Yes, we have, Yoska. And let's keep doing just fine. Shall we? We shall. Let's just keep doing just fine. Hmm. I said that about the tile set, but it actually but it does seem like they've uh, a calamity has befallen this place like all of them, so perhaps they really did make a unique location just for the in intro. Or maybe it's like semi-modified. Sword of Attila. The Sword of Attila isn't actually Attila's sword at all, ever, ever since Hadur forged it millennia ago. It's changed hands between many notable leaders. Attila, Attila is simply the most recent to, to do anything of note, and slaying a dragon is certainly of note. Now, we seek this blade to defeat the dragon that threatens Operencia. Sebastian has his own motives for finding it as well. Something about it being his destiny to give it to the one who brings light to the darkness. But I'd be fine with just killing the dragon. Well, I think those two things might be one the same. I think the protagonist might be the one that brings light to the darkness. Mm -hmm.